What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Tammy Talks here. All right, y'all. Love Island USA Season 5, Episode 4. Let's talk about it. If you have not already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, and then leave a comment down below if you enjoyed anything that you heard throughout this recap. Okay. Starts off with Anna and Jasmine. Y'all know at the end of the last episode, in the episode episode three, they did the the steal your steal your man type situation. So Carmen stole Victor. Hannah stole Marco. Okay. Now Jasmine, who spent so much of the first episode telling everybody how she wasn't that attracted to Victor. She really didn't want to go to Victor. She didn't twist to Victor. Now, all of a sudden, that Victor, Victor is getting a little communicado from everybody. Now, Hannah, I mean, excuse me, now Jasmine is, like, smitten all of a sudden. So, she's talking to Anna over to the side. Jasmine feels that she was very vulnerable, and when she, she kissed Victor, and now she's mad at both of them. Why are you mad at Victor as if Victor knew he was going to get stolen. And see, this is, I don't know what's wrong with the five original heifers on this show, Sans KK, but y'all are just, I don't think they understand the way the game works. So, meanwhile, Victor is over there telling Carmen that, yeah, I did kiss Jasmine. She asked for a kiss. He said, I didn't feel right about it. And after the kiss broke, there was no connection. There was no spark. We don't have that type of chemistry. Meanwhile, Jasmine is telling Anna that, you know, he was saying how he wanted to build with me and now I just don't trust him. He's a player. He's all this other type of stuff. I don't think Victor did anything wrong, personally. I do not think Victor did anything wrong. So we have Hannah and Marco. So they're talking. Marco said that what Hannah just did wasn't exactly easy. Kudos to her. He feels she checks off every box, I guess, until the next heifer comes in and you're more attracted to her. Everybody is so unserious on this show. Cassie's talking to Leo. She's mad about the kiss with Anna during the game. She just feels that it was too passionate. It was too much. Cassie really got on my everlasting fucking nerve this entire episode because one I feel like Cassie don't understand how the game works I feel like Cassie is very uh, jealous Cassie is very overprotective Cassie is low-key giving crazy and it makes sense why Cassie had to bring her ass on this show because you probably act a fool out in in society you act a fool in real life because you acting a fool on here sis so She's telling Leo that now she has the ick for both of them and she's not interested in him anymore because he doesn't talk to her. He talks to all the other ladies and then he's openly flirting with Anna in his face. She felt it was disrespectful. He apologizes for making her feel that way. She tries to keep going on like and like kind of she wanted to like make him feel bad. So she's going on and on and on about it. And he like talks over her and it's like, yeah, she's not going to work. Let's go our separate ways. I said, see, see, sis, you could have said what you had to say. Speak your speech. As Miss Misha would say, speak your speech and then be done with it. You tried to go a step further and now you the one that like got embarrassed. Victor tries to talk to Jasmine. Jasmine says she's not ready. Maybe tomorrow. Girl, whatever. Whatever. I uh. Cassie goes and talks to Keenan. Asks him, like, if he's open to getting to know other people. Oops. I'm sure my laptop. He said he is. He is open to getting to know other people. She then asked him um, if it wasn't KK, who would he be? attracted to who would it be there who would be there for him he was like well the only people that i'm attracted to here really are you and kk she takes that to mean that he's attracted to her and wants to build with her and that pissed me off so bad black love or not that pissed me off so bad because cassie is really on some I don't have anybody type stuff. So now I'm going to go and ruin somebody else's shit the same way that you were just bitching about Anna, quote unquote, doing it to you. 
KK feels that Cassie should have pulled her to the side and just kind of talked to her about liking Keenan. She has no issue with that. KK is talking to Keenan and she's like, look, if you like somebody else and you want to explore that, that's fine. You know, I trust you to figure out what you want to do. All I want is honesty and transparency. Maturity is what this is. Maturity. So KK feels blindsided. She's starting to cry. I said, don't let them people see you cry, sis. Don't do that. Don't do that. Going into the, you know, somewhere private. But don't, don't let Cassie's ass see you cry. And that's why I can't wait until next episode when she is in tears. Because I feel like you're doing too much. I hope she can, I hope she gets voted off. I hope she goes home. I do. I hope she goes home. So the next morning, Marco wakes up and he's like, yeah, that physical touch was there. Finally, I got my back scratched. And Destiny was like, no, nah, because what y'all not going to do is play with me. Y'all going to learn to stop playing with black women. We don't play them games like that. We don't play them games like that. And see, uh, Marco tried to play on Destiny's top, and she said, not over here. So then he tried to laugh it off and was like, what? I'm just saying how I felt. Childish. You t- childish, and you're receding. Your hair is thinning. Made me mad. Jasmine is now mad at Victor again, and I feel like she just has a lot of misdirected anger. So I'm a little cooked for a little bit. I, I'm confu- I am confusion about it, but whatever. Cassie and Kena, Cassie and Keenan talk again. So Cassie's telling Keenan that, you know, you just have all the morals and, and qualities that I want just by observing you. KK, meanwhile, was talking to the talking to some people, and she's venting. She's like, I don't want y'all to say nothing, but I just want to get this off my chest. That's it. I just want to vent a little bit. Get it off my chest. Don't say nothing. But I just want to vent. Leo is like, okay, girl, whatever. Uh, Jasmine then gets a text about a masquerade ball. And we find out there's a new guy. His name is Harrison. He's telling the ladies he has no physical type, okay? I'm not looking at redheads, blondes, whatever. However you are, like, I'm just attracted to people. Okay, so they play this game where there's a bowl that's full of facts. You read a fact, and it's a fact about one of the people here in the house. You have to figure out who the fact, who you have to guess who the fact is about. To guess, you go up and kiss that person, right? So a lot of it was kind of on some, like, uh, Bergy has a picture in his phone where he's measuring his his soul pole. I said, okay, Bergie, you didn't tell us what it was. He said inches and centimeters. I said, oh, it's a little cringy. Don't send that to nobody, okay? Don't send that to nobody. But Bergie said, I got the proof if you need it. That tells me that he he hanging. That tells me Bergie might have a third leg down there. Cause why else you gonna keep it? Um. So then, you know it. A lot of these, a lot of these games are really designed for you to kiss who you really want to kiss, right? So Keenan kisses Cassie. The question was, uh, this person uses the the shower head to get herself off. So Keenan kisses Cassie. Okay, Cassie pulls away and was like, "No, no, no, that's enough." Embarrassed him and embarrassed KK. Because the answer was KK, right? Um, aside from that, Harrison said that Jasmine is a red flag because Jasmine's boyfriend cheated on her and her way to get back in him was to sleep with his brother and his cousin. It's given whole vibes, but whatever, sis. So Jasmine thinks she has a connection with Harrison because when she kissed him in the game, she straddled him and did the ultimate most. She did the absolute most. And I'm like, girl, you all up into him, and he think you a walking red flag. <laughs> like, I feel like Jasmine's coming on too strong. I want to like Jasmine. I do. But Jasmine is like, I don't know. I don't know. It's not it's not working for me with Jasmine. So then Keenan is talking to the guys. He's irritated that Cassie pushed him away during the kiss, and that was not fuck her because why would she do that? And now Keenan feels bad. Um, here's the thing. 
if Keenan would have kissed any of the other ladies, right? If Keenan would have kissed Destiny, if Keenan would have kissed Hannah or Carmen or literally anybody else during this process, I don't think it would have been a big deal. But the fact that this woman is like throwing herself at you and that's the one that you go kiss, that's why KK is her. So KK is venting to Hannah about how she don't want to be a pick me, but damn nigga pick me. And like, I don't think that's trying to be a pick me in this sense. I don't think KK's being a pick me, but if I'm supposed to be rocking with this dude and he's being blatantly disrespectful in my face, what am I supposed to do about this? How am I supposed to handle this? So Keenan's talking to the guys and the guys are all like, yeah, that shit was, that was foul. Like, why would she do that? Like, that's embarrassing. Meanwhile, Cassie is talking to, I forgot who she was talking to, probably, um, I feel like Jasmine, because I feel like that's all she ever talks to, but Cassie's over there talking to somebody, and she was like, well, I pulled it back because, you know, none of the other girls like me, and everybody's looking at me a certain way, because you move in flaw. That's the thing. You could have really went up to KK, because y'all were supposed to be cool, you could have went up to KK and been like, I like Keenan. I kind of want to, you know, get to know him. Now, is it going to be just a free for all girl? Girl, do your thing. Probably not. But don't like blindside who's supposed to be your, your, uh, your island bestie and do no snake shit like that. Cassie, you moving funny. You moving funny. And that's why, that's why everybody's looking at you funny. You just did all this bitching about how Anna's supposed to be your friend. And Anna's crossing you with Leo. And you turn around and do that snake shit to KK. And for what? You did that. And then I guess we see next episode that Keenan is mad with her because he feels like, you know, he's risking things and he's putting things out on the line. And now she wants to sit there and cry. Save them tears, sis. Save them for somebody that cares. Keenan, don't fall for that shit. KK, shiver your heart, sis. Keep, keep, keep an eye on Keenan. Keep an eye on Keenan. Because like she said, you just wanted to kiss her. You just wanted to kiss Cassie, which is fine, but she embarrassed you. Y'all gonna stop playing with black people on these shows. I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.